So, Mr. Hassan of the Bright Star. Uh, his face mask is cute, though. He's very... I, I do like this design a lot. This is really fun. Triple Quick Deck. Somebody said he has, a, he has an Arts NP. He... Triple Quick Arts... This is what in worrying when in murdering people. That's all right. He's all... okay. We're off to a bad start, but we'll we'll keep looking. So let's just let's just look at him first. Looks good. I love the design. I love the coat. The mask is cool. I like the hat a lot. My man's is dripped out. Who's the artist? Does it say who the artist is? So this brings the total of name Hassan's two five or four. Oh, he's excluding fucking the first Hassan. Bones, and he does need these for the final skills. Got it. Bones. Po I mean, poison stingers make sense. Thirty of those, twenty-four bones and dust. Got it. All right. But we'll get to that later. Starting with this, he looks great. The ascension one. He's looking great. I love this. Second Ascension. Alright. Yeah, that, that's much more Hassan. That's significantly more Hassan. I do like it, though. I like that Assassin look. Peggable. Stop it. Stop it. You people. That's a crazy-looking sword. I mean, it's, uh... It's scythes, or sickles. Got the sun tattoo tramp. The tramp stamp is on the ass. The womb tattoo. I'm done. He's changing. I like that one, too. God, he's not beating the twink allegations. God fucking damn it. Looks like he's got like the Voyager drip. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the XXX on this guy. Guys. But yeah, no, this is great. This is very, this is like, this is awesome. All right. And then FA is. Ooh. The flap. The flowers. He has feminine looking trait, it's over. Ain't no way. He looks really good here. You guys are down horrendous. That is not a bad FA at all. It's very it's very good. I'm So I'm curious though. What's up with uh, the flowers? I'm very curious about the flowers. But uh I am very I'm I'm happy. I'm happy for more Hassans. Yeah, no, this is good. I like this. All right, all right, chat, let's take a look. So his deck is, on first glance, his deck is very uh, concerning. It's a triple quick, arts, and then buster. Triple quick deck, arts, buster, arts, AOE, NP, is weird. Now, his kit might make up for that, but for now, I'm gonna say that's pretty unusual. However, the way how they have changed the game so that quick, uh, like arts quick buster quick art buster uh rainbow stuff that is this is no longer that bad it's not it's not the best option but it's not bad so this isn't as bad as it was way back in the day but it's still not a great start uh this however is interesting two hit buster four hit art card and then six hit quick card so he's probably gonna make a lot of stars five hit extra card his gain on his R card might on his uh, quick cards might be pretty good, but you know, hard hard to say. First skill: quick up, art up, attack up. For self, 30, 30, uh, 20 percent. Okay, not bad. Dark Knight ceremonial something. Okay, interesting. But yeah, pretty that's pretty standard still. Pretty standard skill. Dark Knight's practice or something. Gotcha. And my Japanese is still not great. It's not amazing, so forgive me while I try to translate. Next. Uh, evade two times. Three turns. Pretty good. Uh, special attack triggers before quick attacks. Increases crit damage by 10%. Oh. And then star drop rate up. Oh. It is like Ashvathaman, yeah. Except the difference is, is he has a triple quick deck, which means that he could potentially just keep stacking these over and over again. 
while making stars and crit. Okay, that's interesting. Pretty self-sufficient in that regard. And for three turns, that lasts. That keeps happening for three turns. That attack up on... No, it isn't. Oh, if it's on a nighttime field. Or a dark... Or a dark field. You're right. If it's on a dark field, he gets the attack up. Interesting. All right. Well, the second skills decent is way better than his first one. I can see this being used in, like, some solo comps. That's kind of interesting. And then last, Black Sword. Yeah, bring Tez. Actually, yeah, just bring Tez. Well, not, not Black Sword. What is that? Kokujin. Black Dagger, maybe? Black Blade. Okay. Apply Crit up for 50% for three turns, which is just good. He gets it. Okay, so he can make a fuck ton of crit damage for himself. Trigger skill on quick attacks. Charge NP. And then also NP gain on self. Oh, interesting. So yeah, he has these three quick cards that trigger when he... That trigger his, uh, his two skills. So he charges NP by 30% if he has a quick chain. And also then gets an additional 30% quick er, or crit damage on it. He has six hits on his, on his quick cards. So he's going to make a ton of stars. And so for those three turns, he just escalates. So by the third turn when he's hitting shit, that last attack is going to do insane damage, assuming that you're soloing with him and are actually pulling all of that off. But that's in that's pretty interesting. But it seems like it's all to get his NP. So what is his NP then? It's an AoE, AoE Arts, uh, applies Quick Up, Art Up, and NP Damage Up for himself. Super effective to human enemies. And then... Oh, he's a, he's got suicide on him. 1,000 damage to self. Just a really quick. Human is all of these. Human is almost exclusively like servants and some mobs. Alt, wait. The Nobu's... These are humans? Behold a man. These are... Earth trait? Attribute human. Interesting. I don't... I don't know if he's going to be very good. How many hits is on this? Six hits on it. It's an arts one. So he, get it. he could get it back. I don't... He's. I don't think you're going to use him for farming. Because he didn't really have a... A, a normal battery. Yeah, he doesn't seem very... He doesn't seem very good, unfortunately. For a design that goes so hard. And also, what does he remind me of? Well, this reminds me of... Uh, do you want to know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of this. I mean, and that's just, it's mostly just to the degree of it being, like, very loose clothing, but in white, right? Also, I guess, wrapped legs as well. I, I don't... I don't know when you would bring him. He can definitely work. He's just a very weird servant. Know what I mean? Okay, so I think that genuinely, you know where you find him? He is going to be a very interesting solo servant. That's how they've built him. This is a guy who's built for solos. Kind of. The only ish, the only thing is though, is that he doesn't have any survivability. He's all offense. I don't know what they were thinking with him. I'm very, I'm very interested. I don't know if he's gonna get very much like play, but an AO, ah uh, yes, the AOE art soloer. Yeah, I don't know, man. He seems like he can come in, rush pretty hard, blow things up, and then die. But he needs to build up for three turns. Well, okay, let, let's check his passives. They sometimes just give them insane shit. Excuse me? My man's got the Avenger passive? Well, Oblivion Correction is the passive that's given to almost all Avengers. If not all of the Avengers, which just gives them bonus crit damage. Okay, that does help him. That That is helpful for him. And then Presence Concealment A is also pretty good. Extra attack. Okay, he's anti-assassin. Interesting. Uh, traits. Okay, he's gender male. Uh, assassin, attribute human, alignment, lawful evil, checks out. Fo oh, sorry, four star servant. Servant human weak to an Lish. Hamandai, standard class, can be in battle self. Wait, who said he had feminine looking? You're a liar, how dare you? 
He doesn't look feminine looking. Okay, I could see with one cast Doria, he does 75% on three enemies. Okay, so he kill. He, okay, so he could loop then, in theory. With double cast Doria, he could probably loop then. He's not beating the femboy allegations. He's too ripped to be a femboy. He does look like a street urchin. Yeah, I like him. I like his design. His kit. I could see. I can see if you want to invest into him, his kit working. I can see that for sure. This is like the epitome of a C-tier servant. Like if our scale is from D to F, sorry, D to EX, this is like the epitome of a C-tier servant, which is where you can make him work. He definitely has like a niche that you can utilize. You can bring him to farm theoretically if you want to invest in him. He's not going to drag you down necessarily. If you like him enough, he can definitely work. But outside of just liking him, there's not really a reason to use him. So, I don't know. I mean, it's it's nice that he's usable. At, at, at minimum, it's nice that he's usable. His kit is weird, though. 